Okay, so it's a private tour. There's nobody here. Okay. Okay, so we start with the short movie first. Okay. Where's the movie? Here. Okay. Oh, it's a big screen. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Um, we can go start the tour if you want. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Fala. Okay, everybody, so I, I guess I get a private tour. There's nobody else here. I'm all alone, and I get to do the, the tour. <laughs> this is funny. And it's all in uh, <laughs> Slovenian. Um... <laughs> we don't have an English uh, side to this, I guess. So, uh, so I guess each person gets a tag, and when you come out of the mine, they give you a tag so that they know everybody gets out. I'm just, uh, I'm just winging this, everybody. So. Uh, I would, I would think that they would have a, um, an English version and a, uh... Good luck. Good luck. Oh, oh, here we go. Go inside? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll oh, it's... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. So, this is our mine. Um, actually, the first miners here went already in 1500. So, more than 500 years ago. So, 500 years yes, old. Yes. This is a long so, time. we are actually now going on the same traces on the where the food, like the miners, generations of miners went inside the mine. Okay. Okay. So let's go. Please follow me. You have to duck too. Sorry? You have to duck too. It's short. Yeah, it's quite uh, low. Were the miners short? Yeah, they, they were short, but also, of course, uh, they didn't know, they were no, not so good in construction as we are now. Ah. You know? Yep. Like the first tunnel here was built in 1500, but uh, later in 18th century it was a little bit refurbished. Okay. This part here is new one. Because yes. Because there were some um, floodings and uh -huh. needed to be... So it's needed to be sealed, made completely in a new way, but just this, this short path. Yeah, this is nice tunnel here. Yeah, and yeah, but now we'll get again in the lower parts. Okay. Okay, be careful here. Okay. Did they use tracks? This looks yeah. like railroad tracks. Yes, for the uh, for the carts. Okay. Yeah. And actually, this um, this added this tunnel was dedicated to Saint Anthony of Padova. Okay. Uh, 
he was an important patron of miners because uh, he was the patron in the case of accidents. So <laughs> miners believed that it helped them to avoid accidents in the mine. Okay. It's wet. Sorry? It's wet. Yeah, it's a little bit wet, yes. But no, it's quite okay. In summer, it could be worse. Or I mean, now in spring, it could be worse. After maybe some really... Rains. Rain, yes. Okay. So, here is our first stop. Okay. Here we can see a miner uh -huh. at the work. Like in 15th, 16th century, they had really basic tools, like some chisel and hammer, and that was everything that they had. Later, it developed, but it beginnings developed. were yeah, but beginnings were really simple, and also the clothes were yeah. really simple, and they were handmade, homemade actually. Yeah. Um, like they, the miners lived here around some small cottages, okay. like. I don't know, in, maybe in States you have similar things where, where when the first um, like settlers came to the western parts of uh, US uh -huh. and started to, to dig gold around. Ah. They really were rough. very yeah, rough, yeah. rough uh, conditions. Yeah. It's interesting that these miners came from all over Central Europe, mm. uh, from, the, from the towns, from the mines where um, where actually they could already um, make a prac. I mean, they were already um, had a lot of practice in the okay. mining. Right. Be so the miners came from Austria, uh, from Tyrol. There were a lot of mines from German areas, from Sachsen. This is south of Berlin. Mm -hmm. From Czech Republic, there was there were really important historical mines here. So they had practice and they, when they came here, they knew, ah, okay, I need to dig it like this. Right, make it an arch. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. They, this was like a profession, like today. Okay. And then, of course, uh, the mine developed, so you can see there. Uh -huh. But there is a place, abandoned mine called New Idria. Yeah, I saw that on the thing yeah. in, the, in the castle. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. okay. And here, now we are in the chapel. This chapel is dedicated to Saint Trinity. Oh, it that's is deep. Yeah, this is deep, and Sorry. actually, there uh, the miners went to the work here. But first, they needed to pray, right? Because there was a lot of accidents in the mine, and really like to uh, to actually to have to be protected. They believed it's important to have uh, patrons. Right. Which actually helped them. And this is St. Trinity, and on the left is St. Hetzius. St. Hetzius was important for miners because on, in 1508 there was a big deposit war of, of ore found on 22nd of June. And 22nd of June is because of this, now, uh, that became the holiday of the town, and on this day is the name day of St. Hetzius. So this is why he is there. And to the right is Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara is very important for the miners in the whole Europe. She is like a patron of the miners. She was trapped by the legend in some tower, and with God's help, she escaped from this tower. And this, this is really parallel to the miner story. So miners also believe that if they are trapped in the mind if there is some accident Barbara and of course God would help okay because she was trapped in her yes okay yeah, it changes all the time it's a different sound in here uh it depends on the rocks ah it, it doesn't really echo depends on the rocks um it's like the miners would know very quickly because this you know as I, I do we don't have any mining activities right anymore not anymore they've ended it, this needs to be maintained uh -huh. and this is really similar to the like the works that were done for 500 years is the same thing so here we have miners at work mm -hmm. miners always worked in pairs why in pairs because if something happened to anyone the other could help him uh -huh. 
this was very important uh, because they sometimes worked in quite remote places in the mine and it was quite difficult to job to find them if something happened right you wouldn't know where to go yes and this is the thing actually that they tried to find the pink stuff huh uh, well, that that is actually it's more or less a rat this their rat? site is yes is cinnabar ore this okay. is cinnabar ore but it's pink or red yeah m maybe it reminds you more about pink yeah but mostly it's red in color we red say. red yeah. okay yeah yeah red Gotcha. Uh, it's inside is mercury and uh, sulfur. 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 Yes. yes. Okay. And this needs to be then put it in smelters on 800 degrees so that the mercury becomes liquid mm -hmm. and sulfur goes actually into the air. Okay. Later, of course, this, this was solved in different ways so that sulfur could be then stored somewhere and used for different purposes. Right. Um, <laughs> this one's a little different. They line this so that it's stronger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you, okay. Here is actually you have three types. It's quite interesting. Okay. The miners left this on purpose just to see. Like this is more or less like iron support here. Iron, timber, right? Yeah, and this is actually a newer one from the 19th century. Okay. Later on. Concrete was used also in 20th century, okay. although not so often, and was used only for the main galleries, for main tunnels. And here we have timber support, which was actually the, the most right. typical. Right, right, yeah. right. Just wood. Yeah, it's wood, it's spruce tree or fir tree. Both of them could be okay. used. And that's a train, and that's the track that we were walking along. Yes, actually, this is a track which could be used for, and still is used for transport if there is a maintenance needed. Okay. This is another cart. Already before we saw cart, it was it was a smaller one. Right. But very useful for transporting to the main tunnels. Mm -hmm. But this was the cart used for transporting around the main uh, tunnels. It's called Hund. It's Hund. from the German word, yes. I don't know if you know, Hund means in German dog. Dog, hound. Hound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, in English, it's also this yeah. word, yes. And it was um, why named why it was named dog? Probably because it made when it was pushed like a barking song, uh, sound. Barking ah. sound, like, like something like this. <laughs> okay. So it was named dog. But huh. not just by our miners, by all it miners. It's typical Central European okay. name. You need to know in the case of mines, miners really settled from one location to another. Uh -huh. So it's really typical that you can find uh, miner families uh, that were everywhere, like in, they were in Germany maybe for some time, on in Romania for some time in austria migrated it's, yeah it's mostly connected to where the um, countries were mm -hmm. like here in Idra, it's very dependable on the central european so where austrians and germans were okay yeah where okay. they had influence the hound okay yeah yeah hund hund, hund. yes hund. Fine hund. yeah and this actually holds i don't know if you know kilos kilograms Kil no it's 800 kilograms i don't know in how much English. is yeah i don't know either maybe you can yeah i'll find out find 800 out, kilograms yeah. it's very heavy yes it's yeah quite like a thousand pounds like a ton i don't know yeah okay it's almost one one yeah. thousand pounds yeah i don't know how much yeah. it really is heavy and um this is because mercury itself is very heavy right yes. right and you have a lot of mercury, of course, it's denser. The mercury actually weighs two times more than iron. Right. So I saw the thing where the lead ball was yeah, floating yeah, in, the, yeah, yeah. in the mercury. That is amazing. Uh, have you been in yeah, yeah, the also? castle? Ah, oh, castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They have this. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, it's quite interesting to see it. Okay. Okay. So let's go forward. Be I can hear him digging. Here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> This is, um, these are two miners who are presenting woodworking here. Woodworking, as we saw, timber was very important. But why? Because the stones, rocks here are really unstable. Most of the rocks around is shale. Uh -huh. You will see it also later on. A lot of clay inside, which means really difficult. We will also see how unstable it is. 
So a lot of timber from around Idria was transported to the mine. It, this means meant really a huge, huge piles of wood. Mm. And wood was transported by the rivers, oh. because otherwise um, it would be a big, it would be impossible. Because in these hills around, it's yeah. impossible to transport it. Right, right. Um, there was no st roads. Right, yeah, roads yeah, to float it down the river. Yeah. Like now we have roads everywhere, but in the right. past, no. Yeah, and driving down here was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah down through the no, mountain. No, this is really good road if you compare it to the older roads. Oh, sure. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And on the other side, we can see how, like this cells, stopes we call them, needed to be backfilled later on. Mm. And they were backfilled by the material which was not used in the smeltering process. I see. So, Waste. Yes, like the waste, um, how it is, tailings, I think it's... Tailings, right, yeah, right, right, right. Tailings, yes. So the tailings were put inside and, and dumped, yeah. The, and this is the whole process. So because if the, this was not done, the supports would, of course, which were not maintained, would collapse and the fr floor would collapse and the area would collapse also this yeah. is a, another problem because this is under this is under the city yes actually under wow. the town yes and this means that if, actually if this wouldn't be done slowly the it would yeah it would collapse actually the um, lake would begin would may be made and we would have Atlantida here, like, and you know, this... Uh, right, a big hole. Mystical. <laughs> now it's better for our yeah, backs. Yeah, we can stand up, yeah. Yeah. Ah. We are now actually at the end of the, this St. Antonio's road, main road, we call it. The main tunnel. Uh -huh. The most historical um, part of our mine. Uh -huh. And now we'll go into the newer part. Okay. So also the Low. everything will be higher taller oh okay but what's interesting here you can already see some parts which were the not phone. really typical for the former yes the phone which actually works no but, way yeah actually you need to put it like this and there's another phone down there uh -huh. which we cannot unfortunately hear it but would be like you can really call it. Yeah, actually, you can really call. Wow. And here is a new phone, but this is still yeah. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And now we'll go down through the blind shaft. Okay. Blind shaft is called because it doesn't have any connection to the surface. Okay. It starts here. It goes down through... That's it. Through levels different, and that's it. It was used for transporting uh, miners and material. Okay. And material doesn't mean just ore, like wood needed to be transported, sure. tools, and so on. Okay. Like, Drill bits and yeah, it's like, carts. And... Sometimes if people, uh, if visitors don't, uh, Im cannot imagine what it looked like, I just said, look at the construction works, construction pits something, somewhere, and it's like the same. Uh -huh. you, as you are building the house. Right. It's very uh, similar. So materials go up and down. Up and down and so on. It's very Workers too. Okay. Uh, oh, this is made for tourists. Yes. Oh, I see. Because it's still... were not for miners. I see. It was far less comfortable, actually. You'll Back see. then. Because yeah. this is small. It's actually never really, uh, not very often, the stairs. Uh, mostly uh. ladders. Oh, wow. How far down do we go? Oh, not so much. We'll go about 20 meters below the entrance altogether. Okay. It's just the feeling that you go... Right, round and round. Take a look how it looked like. This types of ladders. Went, wow. Like crossed. Right. And wow. put literally deep. And the this so one third was for miners and the second and third third were for the material. 
Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, the yeah. holes. So one hole for miners on the yes, left, yes. one hole for material, and then another hole no, for no. material. Yeah, one big hole for Oh, material. I see. Yeah. And it was all stairs and ladders, or all ladders that pretty was much. everything. And of course, material mostly went, there was maybe some cage or some rope, something really simple. Okay. Because some blind shafts were really made for a longer time, but some really closed after a few decades. Okay. And Wait yeah, you have to another. think 500 years. I mean, yeah, they don't use it. Yeah, like yeah. It's, it changed completely. This underground, this was not uh, the same then. Yeah. So here, we can take a look at the shale. So this is shale. Uh -huh. And it, as you can see, a lot of clay inside. And here we can see some drops. Let's take a look here. Of mercury, right? This right. is actually mercury, yes. This is pure mercury. So as we, uh, as I said, um, uh, this is the mercury is very interesting because it's the only liquid, I mean, the only metal that could be found in the nature in liquid form at the room temperature. Right, right. You cannot find iron at the room temperature in liquid state. No. Okay. Uh, and a lot of mercury was found in this shale. shale. Yes. Later on, we'll take also a look how actually as stable the shale is. Okay. Maybe just a quick glance, how actually the construction looked like. So the first thing that needed to be done is to find, of course, the ore. Right. It's not so, um, it, it's not so um, easy to find. Easy to find, yeah, sometimes, especially in the later periods, it was quite heavy, quite hard to ha find mercury. Right. Percentage was quite small. And then blind shaft was done, uh -huh. so the same shaft as we maybe just went there. And then on the lowest part of this ore body, the active level was made. So this was the main level where also, like the lowest part, where the main, where actually the materials were then transported and so on. Okay. And first this was made and then it went upwards so the mines did well, they didn't first work their way this down one, then this then this this ah. because it was far easier you you worked on the material that you actually did before so you knew what was down there mm -hmm. beneath you and they worked always like this they worked on one stop and they backfilled it and went to another and to another and these and are the stopes here Yes, these are the stopes. Yes. So they would. Let's so let's say they started here and they would do this whole thing and then they'd backfill the whole yes, thing and yes, then they'd go to this yes, one and then go yes, to the like all this. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. It looked like a cell, then later and just went through. Okay. And then at the end, so one part is there, and all of course all cards also went in this way, and then all material went down ah. to this main level and out okay so first upwards and out okay cool so this was the in the basic um the basic way how it was done okay and this is how they actually rested they made they on their own of course benches because they were construction sure absolutely <laughs> they were masters in all types of uh, crafts needed for this and sometimes they had some water with them, uh, secretly maybe also some wine. Vodka or so, something. Yeah. Uh, vodka, not so much. I'll, I'll explain a little bit more okay. about this. It's not vodka here in this area. Uh, here, I don't know if you know herb called wormwood. Wormwood, uh-uh. Wormwood. It's a little bit bitter uh -huh. uh, if you taste it or, I don't know, prepare it. And in 18th century, already some doctor said that this warm wood could be very useful for the mercury diseases. Oh, okay. And so he prescribed them um, tea made of warm wood. Ah. But the miners were really like always one, one step ahead. Uh -huh. And they actually had an idea to make a spirit out of it, ah, okay. distillated. Yes. So, like similar to vodka, but different uh, yes. way. And it was called gerush. 
Gerush. Gerush, and it's actually was very typical for Idria. It could, could still be found in restaurants, and huh, uh, okay. you can still actually buy it. It's actually quite good for stomach. Hmm. Okay. Because it it's a little bit bitter, uh -huh. but it's um, very good as how to say after the lunch or something like right. this for the digestive. Or yeah, digestive. Yes. It's, it's okay. bitter a little bit. Okay, so here we are now. I didn't mention actually, but probably you realized that we are in the newer parts. Mm. And th in these parts, work actually, miners worked still in 70s. So about how much is it? 50 years ago now? Yeah. About 40, 50 years ago, miners still worked here. Mm -hmm. Like wow. every day. They search for the mercury and so on. Mm -hmm. But they used more modern tools in the end. This loading shovel was implemented when it was introduced in our mine in 50s, so mm. 1950s. And um, it mm, much like the, the work became much easier. Mm -hmm. But the problem was especially noise. I don't And dust. Ah. Of course, there was a large stockpiles of rocks which were moved from one part to another. There was a lot of dust, and this dust got in their lungs. Got in the lungs, yes, and it's called silicosis. Mm. That the disease that actually is the consequence of the too much dust in the lungs. Mm -hmm. Actually, but they still use these carts. You hmm. can see here a little it bit. Right, they turn it. Interesting here. part is they could turn it. Right, yes. right. And also more place. You can see how a little wider, wider everything yeah. is. It was far easier to work in this right. tunnels. Huh. Okay. This is for ventilation. When there was a high percentage of mercury, they needed to ventilate. Mm. This is so there was not a lack of oxy oxygen, but this was mostly for medical purposes. Okay. Who, which were introduced in 1873. So at the end of 19th century, the direct consequence of industrial revolution, as you probably heard about it. It's also probably in the United States in this sure. period, industrialization became very important. It was a lot of noise again. of diseases yes yes the problem of the miners was were mostly diseases of the mercury right and the, especially nerve system was under um, was under attack how to say was affected right uh, this meant that actually when they went to doctor there was a very simple test by the doctor the doctor actually gave them a glass of water and if they could keep it like this stable still. stable approximately stable it was okay but sometimes it was like disastrous so like in five seconds they split everything on the floor ah because they shake yeah, yeah the nervous system yes, nerve nerves nerve, nerves nerve yeah. damage okay yeah it was a big and also the teeth started mm. to fall, fall out down. yeah mm. fall out and like all typical things then consequences but it could be cured in the 20th uh, century it could be cured then there were medicines and so on you gonna blast it yeah and okay. here is dynamite yes okay dynamite was of course invented by alfred nobel and really made a big change in the mine before gunpowder was used but gunpowder was not so effective as was dynamite. Right. There were cords inside and first red, then orange and green cords were actually blasted. Okay. Cool, okay. Okay, we'll go a little bit lower down to the lowest parts now. There is a little bit of about the geology again here. Right. This here maybe be, yeah, but here I I let I, I rather put it in place. Uh, everything. This is also shell, but this is a little bit darker shell. Very typical for Idria. 
there in this darker shell called sconza was a lot of mercury inside. Mm. Okay. And it passed here, of course, not. It's hard to it's hard to find mercury around. Or although I think it's might might be better not to find it. Yeah. Because it's quite <laughs> toxic and so also measurements are now done in this tunnel, so it's the percentage of mercury is now actually on the same level as everywhere else here. Okay. We are right now moving. It might not be so important, but it should be because like if you are here just one hour it's not problematic but mm -hmm. if you are here for days hour days weeks years it gets yeah you get exposed so for me an example i i'm really glad that the percentage is low because <laughs> it's quite often here. Yeah, you live here <laughs> almost to live yes yeah okay here we have a collapsed gallery uh -huh. uh, yeah. this is just for the purpose how that you can see what actually looks like if it's not maintained properly. Ah, okay. And now we'll go down uh, okay. through this decline. It's called, it's oblique. Is it the right word? Oblique? oblique? Yeah, like it's not vertical, horizontal, it's... It's oblique at an yeah, angle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, it's oblique. So all of oblique um, tunnels are called decline. Actually. Decline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. A downgrade. Okay, downgrade. Okay. Huh. Here, this is, and this looks like this. Yeah, really. It's loose. really unstable. Yeah. Sometimes it, I f try to find something that uh, might be, but here you can take a look what it looks like. But be careful. Yeah. The tracks make it hard. Uh, uh, here you can take a look how unstable yeah. it looks there. Right, right. It falls so this on really needs to be protected. This is why we have this timber. Right. Yeah. Ooh, to go through this. We are so twenty-two meters. I don't know how much does it mean to you. Three feet, so sixty-six okay. feet. How much? Sixty-six feet. Sixty-six feet. Okay. So three feet in a meter. Uh huh. So okay, okay, okay. So That's twenty-two meters, sixty-six feet. No. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, and here we have a special miner. They're called runners, mm. or in from the German again, Laufer. Laufer. Because they, what were they doing? They were only transporting ore and other material uh, from one part to another. They weren't the actual digger or the. They weren't digger, and actually, this was done mostly by the youngest mm. from the, like with. But when they were 15 years old, uh, they started to work here, young. Oof. But never children. Right. It's interesting. In our mind, never child work children and also animals. Right, right. Like animals, this would be interesting, but the problem is they got intoxicated. Ah. They were in, in no use. Right. In America, 15 is a child still. Sorry? 15 is yeah. a child. Also, in the past, it was different here. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. But actually, with 15 years in Selene, you could work, mm -hmm. but not heavy physical works like this. Right, you can just push uh, you a can, cart. You can work in some shops with 15 years in Slovenia or someone, but only just as, as, as a student work. Ah, I see, okay. So as a part-time job. Right. Or maybe, I don't know how it's actually religious. That's probably close, yeah. yeah. Because I know in America it's 16 years, I think you can get a job, but it's like yeah, part time has, yeah, or, you yeah, know, yeah, not, similar, yes. yeah, it can't be <laughs> digging yeah. holes or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, so and now we are at the lowest part. Okay. And here we can see a number. We are at the first part of our mine, uh -huh. so the Roman uh, number. And 17 is the name, uh, is the number of the etage, of the level inside this part. So now we are in the first part and 17th level of this first so nobody, part. So somebody could find you if you told them I was at I-17. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, but also, of course, I need something on, on this level. You could use yeah. this phone, when, which we saw before right. and so on. Okay. So it was easier. Cool. And actually the depth of the mine was 400 meters, if we can calculate it. Yeah, 1,200 feet, Four, okay. 400 times 3, 1,200. Yeah. 
1,200 feet. Feet, so 52 60s of was, miles, so it's actually, about a quarter of a mile. Yeah, actually, it was below the sea level. Below sea level, yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow, this is where they've really gotten better at uh, digging, huh? Yeah, actually, this is very important. Two things that were quite important here, we can see. First of all, like the percentage of ore really decreased through the centuries. And at the end of 19th century, just 1% of the whole material that was um, pulled, out. pulled out was mercury. Mm. This was quite disastrous already number, and this got still lower. lower. Mm. So the professional science started to develop here, like geology in mm. the 19th century. And later on, prospective boring. Boring, which actually... Um, like a test actually, hole. Yes, actually, there were like holes inside they drilled for about 100 meters, again, meters, mm -hmm. just to see if there is some mercury. And if there was a pattern full of mercury, it's like a was a positive sign. Okay, let's start it. Right, to, right. Um, to, to so they weren't wasting time. Yes. Yeah. It was not possible because it wouldn't be profitable. Right, sure. And here on the other side, we have a mine surveying... Um, like the man who actually, the department who did my survey, mm -hmm. this meant that actually everything needed to be measured, and everything needed to be calculated. On these maps, we can actually see one map here, was everything like you can see, and also sometimes materials. So, like the maps, sure. so for the engineers, they could very quickly take a, took a look where they needed to work or they should not or where it was right. possible where it's profitable yes yes, yes. it's all and money actually profit was in the, yeah. was an additional number of foresters mm. who brought timber the transport right. the transport actually ran from idria to south america actually because it was needed in the production of silver and gold mm. so we'll talk a little bit about this later mm. so this was really a huge number which was in the in 19th century quite big for place like this in a remote area. Right. And this is again additional minor. This is sliding shaft as we right. saw it on the map. Yes, before. So this is for transportation down of the material. This miner is really interesting because he has protection mask, mask filter, and helmet, which right. is also important. And uh, were not so typical before 20th century. There was no money for this, and materials were very expensive. Right. Okay. Here, so the material from the upper levels could oh. also go to the lower, and this looked like so. There was some control. There was a hunt beneath it. So there's a just poof. cart, and they yeah, dump it yeah, in, yeah. and then wheel it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Typical. Yes. Here. It's interesting to, we can take a look at the mercury, or uh, I mean cinnabar ore, this red color. The red one, yeah. You now you can see it in nature, actually. Uh -huh. So this was then, of course. Like this piece, too? Oh, it's there. a glass, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The purple stuff, is it too? Uh, yes, this one also. And that one up there. Yes, you see, this is actually all cinnabar. Okay. Ore. Cinnabar and is mercury with sulfur. Sulfur, sulfur yes. Okay. And so this was then extracted, put it in, so put it in smelters, uh -huh. and used everywhere, could be used then. Uh, so mercury, what was it actually it used for? We know it in thermometers that's still used in for the measuring of the temperature. Mm -hmm. But in the past, like what was it important? The most important stuff was, uh, as I mentioned, for the produc production of the gold and silver for the extraction. Mm -hmm. It was the most important material for production and actually really lowered the costs of making pure gold, gold. and silver right. out of the ore. So a lot of mercury from the Idria actually was transported to South America mm. to the big gold and silver mines, really. And especially at the end of 18th century, Idria actually needed to produce much more just to that the gold from the South America could then go around the world because right. otherwise it wouldn't be possible. And later on, 19th, 20th century, mercury was mostly used for production of batteries 
accumulators ah, also in chlor industry and so on but later the problem was most ecological as it is toxic it's problematical actually it's not so much a problem when you ha have it at home it's much more problem to produce it mm, right because the way to produce yes. it and it's interesting the same hospitals for ment uh, no mental for mercury that were in idria were in south america because mm. people in golden mines had the same problem because of the mercury that was mm. used there so it wasn't the mercury it was just the dust and the dirt and the bad stuff everything, in the ground everything everything combined right. really was horrible and stenosis is what you called it sorry stenosis in silicosa. the silicosis silicosis i think silicosis or silicosis in english okay. it's from yeah. latin okay uh, I cool. always forgot, forgot for the dynamite. It's quite small. It was not the main one. Uh -huh. But you can take a look how it looked like. So it was quite it's important. just a locked door. Yeah, and... it's, it's quite empty, but... Yeah, it's just a little hole. Okay. Uh, but it needed to be on some safe place. Sure. That's it. Cool. So, calcium like... Um, it is really nice to take a look of this. Shiny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It actually just um, fell off. Or fell off, or? yes, fell off. Yeah. Cool. Crystals around here, you can take a look also. Mm -hmm. hmm. Geological Idra is very, very, very interesting. And for the geologists, it's quite a paradise because it's so untypical. It changes yeah. all the time. Here we have two miners that, that are on their sacred place. It's the, the place where they were resting uh -huh. they needed to rest for some time because it was heavy physical job to do and this was like a very important time for them they actually made some jokes this time anecdotes although the food was quite scarce it was not really good mostly before the second world war they had only a piece of bread maybe some apple from the home Nothing really good. Mm -hmm. After war, after the Second World War, doctors uh, uh, actually uh, then introduced. Uh, they then everyone became um, bacon. Bacon. Yes, by the administration because bacon helped with the mm. uh, with the disease the fat and, stuff. Yeah. and okay. yeah, because it gave them power. Yeah. Protein. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And here we can see another dwarf. Dwarf, yes. Actually, Dwarf Bergmanderts was called. Bergmander. Yeah, it's from the German word. Bergmander, actually, German, uh, no, uh, I mean, boy from the hill. Okay. Uh, from the, the, the mountain, mountain boy, actually, we could call him. And he was quite important. It was said by the miners that he was the first, um, first settler in this area. Mm -hmm. That he was there from the really like from the past how to say from, very beginning yeah, from the very beginning mm -hmm. and he was like a guarding here gotcha. or, or, uh, around and it was said if they mi the miners left some pieces of bread after the snack um it would be for the this the commander, it's for the dwarf we, and he will then in like in exchange he will give them some advices mm. where the ore is good he did by knocking knocking on yeah. wood okay. this was especially especially of course normal i mean not not I would, like typical in the first centuries when there was not so much noise i wouldn't believe that in 19th and 20th century you could knocking. hear some knocking here because there are some not so much it's noise. Some toilet under the ground because on the surface they couldn't go on the surface because you had to climb all the way out yeah and it was of course out of the I mean, they wouldn't have time also for this. They mm. rather had to rest here and sure. not just to go to toilet on the surface. And this was actually just one barrel. Put it aside, nothing different, nothing other, nothing, just this. And it's quite interesting. They needed actually to transport it outside. Take it out. To take it out, yes. And at first, nobody really wanted to do this. <laughs> it was really like, no, it was just a job. Never, nobody wanted it. And then the administration actually decided that everyone who will do this gets a glass of this gerosh. Mm. 
Okay. This uh, warm wood. Yes, uh, yes, which yes. We talked before, and there was a queue then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone to carry poo. <laughs> yeah. This is a, again another sliding shaft, but this might be interesting because here, if I can, if yeah, I, I can would see open it. now, we could go now about still far more below. Right. So our mine is now 122 meters deep. Uh -huh. um, if you can calculate in feet, yeah. in feet. Uh, so this is actually the way how we could go there, but unfortunately not on touristical. Yeah. Um, no, that's pretty. Because you can see it going multiple yeah, actually, levels. There's I, I, another. I did this. I did this, and it's quite interesting. It's not so problematical because you don't see where the lower, the bottom is. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's a long for way. the head. You don't <laughs> think about it. Yeah, but it's quite unstable sometimes. <laughs> and then you can go through the whole, whole area and go out on the completely different. Uh, oh, where point. you came in at? Yeah. Gotcha. So, we are now at the actual last stop. We can see here back filling with compressed air. Ah. So first, if you return to our beginnings of the tour, uh -huh. uh, um, we saw manually how it was backfilled. Right. But later concrete was used because it was quite more efficient with concrete. And concrete was put it in this those types of caldron and then pushed the compressed air pushed them towards the stopes gotcha and it was quite much more efficient and quicker and stronger stronger yes yes, yes. and later on in 70s uh, like it was quite interesting if you maybe remember the oil crisis in 70s i mean i mean you were you are yeah. a little bit older than me maybe uh i'm too young for this the oil crisis began in 70s uh -huh. and actually it had a consequence on all mining industry mm. and also mercury. The price of mercury went very low mm. from $800 per barrel for, per steel flask, which was about 35 kilograms. Again, I don't yeah, know yeah. the numbers to about $70 from so from $800 to $70 in one year. Wow. And this meant com Done with impossible the to mine here. Although we lived in socialism, in communism, the price was still the, the most important thing. And sure. it's, it was not possible to work in these circumstances, especially because mercury was uh, exported mostly to the Western right. uh, markets. And this meant that it was not worth to mine anymore. And the mine started to be closed down. Yeah. This happened then in 90s, uh -huh. so in 1990s, and most of the tunnels were backfilled with the concrete uh -huh. and some also with water. So down there, beneath us, there is a lot of concrete inside, so that the ground is strong, is strong stable, and that the city, the town Idra is doesn't also, fall down. Yeah, doesn't fall down. Yes. Yeah, yeah, collapse. It's very important yeah, that it doesn't collapse. Yeah. Okay. So, this is how many steps is this? One hundred seventeen. One hundred and seventeen yes. steps back to the surface. Okay. And let's uh, greet in uh, minor style. Good luck. Good luck. Yes. Okay. Fine. Okay, everybody. So the climb out. It's a short tunnel, and it's uh, one hundred and seventeen steps, like you were saying. So it's uh, it's kind of a, it's like you're squatting and climbing. <laughs> and uh, he's behind me. So <laughs> bye bye.